Good day, brothers and sisters, and I welcome you all once more to this session in which we share the verse of the day. The verse of today is taken from Mark chapter 9, verse 7b, which says, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Sisters and brothers, the verse of this day is the voice of the Father during the transfiguration of Jesus. The words are significant because the Father spoke just a few times in the Gospel. This time, the Father spoke in the transfiguration of his own Son. The words appear to be a repetition of the words he spoke the first time during the baptism of Jesus. I would invite us to a reflection on the implications of the words of the Father. In these times he spoke, in order to understand the theological importance of those words in reference to the passion of Jesus that was about to take place after the transfiguration. The first time that the words of the Father was spoken, were spoken was during the baptism of the Lord. The words were, You are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. These words are however similar to the words of today's gospel which says, this is my beloved son, listen to him. We can already see, however, that there are substantial differences between these two times that the father spoke. This address, the, the first time is that the father addressed Jesus in the second person during the baptism. This address is directed to his son with the crowd standing by as a witness. The theology behind this is that God was addressing his son because Jesus was going to be the protagonist of a mission which was beginning after his baptism. The Son of God in his public life, which began in the baptism, was going to be the protagonist of a mission of salvation which needed the imprimatur of the Father. Therefore, the attention of the Father was focused on his Son in the events that was taking place during that baptism. During the transfiguration, however, <coughs> the words of the Father were directed to the disciples who were with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. While Jesus was going to be the protagonist of the events of the Passion, it is clear that the Father was, at, was now addressing the disciples and preparing them for the new sort of language that Jesus was going to speak, the language of the Passion that was going to take place after that Transfiguration. For that reason, the address of the Father, which was directed to the disciples, ended with an instruction, listen to him which he didn't say during the baptism. The disciples needed to listen to Jesus because while Jesus had preached in his missions with miracles, with powerful words which were easy to connect with, this time he was going to speak in a way which was difficult for the human psychology to appreciate as appealing. The language of the cross needed the voice of the Father as a witness to the beauty of what was happening in spite of its apparent lack of appeal. The voice of the Father resounds still today in the language of love spoken through the means of the cross and the suffering. How many of us truly believe that God can love us through our tribulations and trials? The Lenten season tries to make us appreciate the presence of God in moments of pain and suffering, especially when it is directed to the good of another. May we never lose hope in moments of trial, and may the cross of Jesus remain a beacon of hope and a sign of God's presence in our lives. Let us pray. O oh God, grant us the spiritual insight to appreciate your presence in the daily trials and struggles of life. May these struggles draw us ever close, closer to you, and may we never lose sight of your love in these moments, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <music>